Well, after the last video, you guys, I got my wish. I, um, after I finished filming this, and I think we were cooking dinner, it stormed. It came down in buckets. Buckets. <laughs> I had to run outside. There, uh, some, some of my tomato plants in my garden have just exploded. Like they, I do a lot of trimming on my tomato plants and because I don't want them to get too out of control. Plus, I have them planted close together, so I need them to have more airflow. So, <laughs> anyway, this also results in some thicker stalks on them. And I guess there was a few that I missed that I didn't like tie up or support in any way. And I look out the window and they're like, eh. They're, they're like almost cracked, like at, like an elbow. <laughs> it's like, boop. So I ran out there and I grabbed the two that did that and put them, secured them up a little bit. But I was like, man, I didn't want it to rain that much. <laughs> but anyways, so I did get my rain and my fertilizer and all that, you know, all that good timing on my part for that. So it all worked out. But okay, so... This is the last video we did. Super cute, right? Don't you just love these little bees and butterflies? I just think they're adorable. Okay, so I have a whole entire playlist for this album that we are currently working on. I have a playlist if you want to follow step by step. I will link it up here and down below in the description box. And this was the last video. And I think I'm going to do the back page of this first fin. So the, the we are doing the hybrid version. This is the elastic... Uh, accordion binding and we did a fabric spine and whoops get back in there so I think we're gonna go but this is the second fin there's three fins in here um, I'm gonna have to do get work that a little bit it's really tight there's three fins in here and I think I'm gonna go back to the first one and do the back side here I think I'm gonna do uh, an envelope I mean I know I'm gonna do it I've already printed it so there will also be timestamps below this video if you need to jump around or check back or look back and see um, how I did this, that, and the other, or, or what, what not. So this is the Simply Magical portrait is what we're working with, and we are using the floral background design. Um, what else was I going to tell you? All of that information is down below in the description box all the links to everything there's an Amazon list for this project there is links to all the different products that I'm using as best I can I think I may have gotten a little burned I had some block on past few days I mean look at look at how you probably can't tell <laughs> but look at I had some block maybe it was on a motorcycle ride that I got some burnt again still had some block on I tan pretty easy but so let me show you what I have printed out so page p11 i have printed page p11 right this is the envelope flap and envelope pocket right so i printed this one out this is on white cardstock and i printed the floral background one we're gonna this is gonna be the inside of the flap I think and um, this is gonna be you're not gonna see this part so but that's okay I'm just trying to um, take some of the layers off so if we don't need the extra layer I'm just trying to remove thickness I guess so I printed this onto white cardstock page p11 and then page p29 which is the mats for the p11 I printed look I'm gonna show you I printed it on the back side of this piece of pattern paper but I'm going to show you which one actually I might be putting that somewhere uh, we might be going I might be <laughs> I have I, words are gone <laughs> this is this how, how was this this was like this this is the 12 by 12 piece of paper I'm sorry piece of cardstock from the paper collection right so I cut it to eight and a half this is the large cutoff piece and then I cut the top off and cut it to 11. I think uh, I said wrong. I'm not going to do the back side of the first fan because I used the 8x8 eight eight pattern, the same pattern, 
uh, in the eight by eight in the first fin. So we'll do the back side of well, I guess we could do in here as well. Hmm. Uh, we'll do the back side of the second fin. That's where we're going to put it. Oh, well, at least that's where I think I'm going to put it. So what I did was when I ran it through my printer, I want this side, I want this piece to be on the flap. Well, it'll make sense. It'll all make sense in a minute. It'd just be easier just to do it, just to show you. So I printed on the back side of here. Okay, so uh, we're going to cut the, I'm going to actually, I'm going to put this up first. Put it up in my scrapper keeper sleeve. Did you guys let me know, did, did you guys make any of these back in the day? Did you make one? Are you wanting to make one now? Now that, um, now that I'm using it again, I haven't used them in a while. They're basically amazing series was everything was so big you know we just usually matted most things so i've already lost my train of thought so i think what i'm going to do is this is going to be attached to, to oh, did you hear my dog this is going to be attached directly this is going to be attached directly to the page so i'm just going to cut it out as is we're not going to remove any tabs or leave any uh, um no we're, we're we're leaving all tabs that's what i was going to say <laughs> So I'm going to trim all of these out and then I will be back. Let's see. I'm trying to see which, there's nothing really exciting going on there. Okay. I try to be strategic in what chunk I take first. So this piece here might be more useful than the long, just a pink however that was you know what I mean Does that makes sense so this scrap is a little bit better to have as a scrap <laughs> okay all right so I'm gonna cut all this out and most likely I will ink everything up with my with my distress oxide walnut stain and uh, well maybe not I might have to score and stuff first so I'm just I'm just going to quit rambling and I'm going to cut everything out and I'll be back. All right. So I have uh, cut these out. I have scored on. The, ooh, I need to cut some of that excess off. Let me cut this excess off. Don't need it. Um, I have scored all three tabs on this one. I scored this tab. And for this one... I am using this side and I've inked everything up. So I flipped it over and I put tape on the three tabs. I notched it and when I cut these corners I just did it to where they're not going to overlap just to again cut out some bulk. So that's ready to go and then for this piece I'm going to be using it like this. So this is going to be Actually, it's going to go like this. This is going to be the flap. It's going to open this way. And then that way the floral print is on the inside flap. So it just takes one layer away from having to mat the inside here. So it's going to go like this. And then here is the, the mats for it. When I printed this out, um, I printed it on the back side. So we're going to use the back side on this part. And then I'm flipping this over and we're going to use this as the flap right there. Right? Isn't that going to be cute? So I'm not going to attach uh, the mats to anything because I need to do, I'm going to do a magnet closure. So let me get this out really quick. And I'm going to open it up. <laughs> okay, so I think I will attach this down. I'll go ahead and attach this down. And it's a little off, but that's okay. So I'm just going to attach down this long 
tab first. I'm going to remove the backing. Oh, wait. <sighs> Hang on. Let me make sure I'm, I'm doing this right. So it's going to be like this. So this part needs to be there. Okay. I was right. <laughs> All right. So don't go over the scores on the main base page. I'm going to put some tape. I haven't picked a insert. I haven't decided what kind of insert I want to do just yet. But this way they don't get stuck on that lip and I didn't get a big enough piece. Just a little smidgen more. I'm burnish that down. And since the magnet, there's going to either be a magnet or a magnet saver on this, so I can just add this down completely. Okay, so I'm not going to add this just yet, but it's going to go here. I don't think I'm going to add this just yet. And I'm going to mark on here exactly where that ends. Then I'm going to take it, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to, I'm just going to see if I can't get it up under here so I can mark it on this one as well. Maybe just a little. So then I'm going to try to mark this piece so I know where... <laughs> where I can put my magnet, right? So I can either put a magnet here and a magnet saver here or a magnet saver here and a magnet here. I think I'm going to do a magnet saver here so that I can do the I can do the um, wax seal over top of it. I think. I think that's my thought. So if, I, if I'm going to do a wax seal over top of it, do I even need to, um, I'm going to put the wax seal, or I'm, I'm going to put the magnet saver and then I think. Worst case scenario, I have to, I have to add um, a magnet, which would stink. So I will, that's what I'll do. I will go ahead and add a magnet saver here and then a magnet here we'll mat this and then we'll see if it sticks that's the best that's the best i can do okay so magnet savers what's a magnet saver i know you guys ask me all the time and they're just little metal disc the um i can't remember which metal they are though you guys i'm just i just drew a blank I have magnet resources down below. There's also resources for these little discs. They're just super slim, thin discs. I got them in many sizes. And then there's also these uh, roof, tin roof cap thingy my bobs. Um, what are they called? Oh, see, I'm just drawing a blank. I will, I will add these to my Amazon list, but um, the Amazon list for this project. Okay. 10 roof caps. They're not 10, but they're, anyway, they're for roofing. I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I'm just drawing a complete blank here. Okay. I think I will, I'm going to use a pretty good size one, I think, because that way I, I have a little bit more wiggle room over here. And I'm not going to be, I'm not going to mind that the mat's not going to cover it completely because we're going to put a wax seal over top of it. And I want it to be able to, yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. So, matter of fact, I think what I'll do is add a glue dot. Is this is my glue dots. Yep. I've got this glue dot dispenser that has these big ones. Aren't they cool? That you can see. 
and they're actually the perfect size if you're using it with a magnet because the magnets we normally use are a certain certain size come on are a certain size so I'm gonna stick this on here like that and then you know what I should probably go ahead and attach this down I can put my wax seal later I'm gonna do that let's just attach it down move the tape backing nope don't do it this way I really did cut this bad that is okay though we are going on with it okay so now that's down let me burnish that so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a magnet, I'm going to stick it on there, well I'm going to try to get it more in the middle here, right, I'm going to stick that on there, and then I'm going to put another glue dot right over the top of that magnet, these glue dots are super Super sticky. Let me double check again. Okay, now I'm going to press it down onto this piece. Like that. All right. I am going to put a tiny bit of tape over top of it so it doesn't move just in case. I'm just going to use this as a uh, eighth of an inch tape. No big deal. This one always comes off the roll. That one I got from scrapbook.com. All my tape resources are linked down below as well. And then we're going to mat this and then, well I guess we could check right now. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. I think it'll be just, I think it'll be just fine. So, I'm gonna take, I'll put my magnets up, so that, just in case they're glaring. I'm gonna take some Fabri-Tac. Oh, let me remove the tape backing. I'm going to go around that magnet too, just in case. Very good. Then that just takes it up a notch, doesn't it? Just boom. Just matting the pocket. I love the pocket too. You can just you can use these pockets just on their own. I think that's adorable. I did that on my cover of my prototype. I'll show you. That's what this is. That's this pocket right here. And it's so cute. I mean, it's just so cute just on its own like that. So just just a little another little suggestion. Okay. So let's go ahead and mat this. And then I'll do a wax seal. I doubt this will go anywhere because there's going to be wax and everything over top of it, but just in case. Doesn't that look good? I love that. These obviously you won't see these like this. It'll be like this. It'll be on. It's a. It's a. It'll be a standalone, like layout, right? So you want because it kind of looks a little clashy with the stripes going this way and then the stripes going this way. But anyways, okay. So let's get our wax seal going. I'm gonna use those. Whoop! I've got my. Oops, I got the wrong one got the big rose 
wax seal thingy that came in that set. The, that set has come in so handy, you guys. I use that set all the time. Uh, we've, we've used it in many projects. This set of, of this set, this, there's like six of them. I'll have it linked, but you can also just get the rose one somewhere. And isn't this rose quartz handle super cool? I'll have this linked in, in my list below as well. All right, I'm going to use this color. This the most perfect color that I found. I'm pretty sure this is the color. Yeah. Is this the spoon? Yep. We're going to use a different spoon. Let's use a different spoon. I like these flat spoons because I like to sit them on my sock candle because there's a flat surface there. This is like the perfect situation um, if you're going to be using a wax seal. I'm going to use... Uh, let's do three. I better do three because I want to make sure it's a big space there. So this is this is like the most perfect color I have found. Again, it's linked in my Amazon list. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this all around like this, and I'm going to pour it on on here and then press it make sure it's the right side up and then press this down like that so now I just need to wait for the wax to melt All right, so now I'm going to pour this on here. I'm going to try to keep it flat to my rose quartz coaster there. And I do not mind my wax seals not being perfectly round. Actually, I prefer that. But if you want it perfectly round, then you can be a little bit more precise. But I do not mind. I'm going to hang on just a second before I put this in here. So the coaster helps these dry fast, helps them cool down fast. It helps keep the the, the press wax seal. Um, what, are, what are those called? Those little. It helps keep those cooler, so it everything cools down faster. So I'm gonna let that sit. As a matter of fact, it looks like I need to change my battery, and I'll be right back. So now I'm gonna take this off. Oh, I didn't get it on there perfect, but look it. Look how cute. Okay, so whoop. So it's going to look like that. And then I wanted to add one more thing. Ooh, that spoon's still warm. To the wax seal. Actually, I'm going to open this up like this. I'm going to add some of that foundry wax just to give it a little something. I'm using this one, I'm using this color or this, um, yeah statue boundary wax all right i'm gonna shake it up okay so i'm gonna take it i'm gonna squirt a little bit out whoa that was a lot wait a second and then i'm gonna tap and I'm just going to kind of hit some of the high points. Right? Just like that. No big deal. And then I'm going to heat it up. I'm going to heat it up gently because this, it, well, let me use a regular heat gun. Because this is wax. So I'm heating up the wax on the wax. And that's how it sets. So it sh when it's done, it should be shiny. Come on. You see, I don't know. I'm gonna stop for a second. You see some 
spots are shiny and some are not so it's not I'm not done yet I'm just trying not to melt the whole wax seal Yep, see, now I gotta let it dry because I did melt the wax seal. It's okay. If I would have had it on my little coaster, it would have been it would have been fine. So I went too far, you guys. I went a little too far. I'm gonna have a mind to remelt it. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. Y'all wanna see what it looks like? It's looking a little crazy. I don't know if I can I can't move it yet. Look at it, it's all mushed and is it done? Is it done dry? No, it's still, it's all disfigured and mushed now. I just, I, I had to dry it just a little too long, too much heat. Probably a little too close. But that's okay. I'm totally fine with that. It looks kind of cool. We're now we're just going to have to let it, <laughs> let it harden back up. <laughs> okay. Just note to self. Um, don't hold it in one spot so long. I think we might be good. Let me find. I've just got a palette knife here. It's just a flat palette knife. I'm gonna see if I can't get this off of here. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> That's totally fine. I'm okay with it. <laughs> Look at it. poor thing. I'm totally fine with it, you guys. Okay, um, oop. I have one more, well, come on, that just likes to swing around. I have one more thing that I want to do in this video, and that's matte the inside of this pocket, and I'm going to use, we already used this paper in a previous video. This one is one of the pages that is part of the Floral Autograph Companion Paper Collection, so you can see the... I really don't like that it's doing that, you guys. I don't know how to, I don't know how to fix that white balance when I get close to you. So anyway, um, it's part of that paper collection. It's linked down below. And we used a piece of it already to mat something. So we're gonna use another piece. So I just need the mat for page P7, which is P25. And I'm just gonna lay it on here. You don't even need the whole mat on here so if you wanted to you could just use a piece actually do I have anything that I can just use a piece of could you well nope that's the wrong direction nope not big enough nope not big enough <laughs> let me see what I got in here real quick not this drawer. I got some bigger scraps. I might use something else. What else do I have? I have that scrap from the last video. No. What are these in here for? There's a scrap. I don't like the back side of that. And there's that. Oh, there's another one of those. Oh, pink. No, I think I'm going to use this because we're going to add some inserts and things. So that's okay. But you need to look through your scraps. Don't just assume, oh, I need to print something new. You may have something already. And you could also print the mat for this, you know, on the floral background if you want to. But I just wanted a little bit different, um, a little bit of a different. Um, Look, I, I don't, what, what are the words I'm trying to use? I don't know. <laughs> so P7. So I'm not going to cut the full thing out because I don't need it. So I might. I might stop it. Like here. So that'll save about an inch and a half. Of paper so I could use it somewhere else so that's what I'm gonna do I 
that looks pretty good. I'm going to ink it up and then install it. Install it, ink it up, and then put it, glue it in. <laughs> I don't know what inserts I want to put in here just yet, so we're not going to make the inserts today, and that's okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like it. I even like the messed up, <laughs> the messed up wax seal. So cute. Okay, that is all we're gonna do today, you guys. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and ring that bell, or ring that bell, turn that bell notification on. Make sure you check out the description box below the video. It has all relevant information and links down there. And... Um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.